That's why I said, you know what, you're lying through your teeth. Okay, now we're going to call the meeting, please. So, we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. This is the agenda of the regular board meeting. President and Board of Trustees, Village of Brown, Cook County, Illinois, on the day of July 18, 2024. At this time, I would ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Cat. Here. Trustee Hotton. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Greer. Here. Trustee Richardson. Here. Trustee Cat. Here. Okay, we have a quorum present. We'll be standing for the President of Legions. We pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Well, everyone has had a chance to look at the minutes, so are there any approval or corrections for the minutes of the last board meeting, which was June 25th, 2024? Any correction to those minutes? If there are no correction to the minutes, I will ask for approval. I mean, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes of June 25th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting. There was a motion approved by Trustee Cap to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Do we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Richardson. Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Uh, before we open up the uh, citizens' seat, you have something to address to the board. If you just stand up, give us your name and your reason for addressing the board. Please limit your comments to three minutes. I'll ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to open the meeting to the public. That's a motion on the floor by Trustee Claybrooks. Can we have a second? Second. A second by Trustee Garcia. We'll take the vote. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? All right, yes. motion passed. The open session is now available for public comments. Mr. Johnson, you want to say something? No. I, 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 okay. I'm going to say something. I'm John Haidu. I'm going to say something. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gonna. My apology. May I approach? No. I can't go through the uh, thing. Oh, you can understand. Okay. 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 You okay? We'll give him a closer. He thinks he's me. Okay, for sure. You can talk. Yeah. Good. You can go into it. I was waiting. Yeah. So it, uh, Maria Rosales, and um, my question is: Does Burnham still have money from the federal COVID relief funds? Okay. Are there any other comments, Jeanette? Yes. Are there any other public comments? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Jeanette Lopinski, and I've lived here 50 years plus. And the last time I was here, I understand from watching the video on YouTube, some comments were made about me without me being present. And I want to address them from the mayor, Mr. Cap. And to Grace, and what I heard was very negative comments about me, slandering my name, and this is what's been happening for the past 13 years. Now I have proof. It's on video. And Mr. Cap, you said that um, my mother was um, taken away from me. If I remember right, there was okay, a I'll have my order. time, please. Okay, well, I'll, I'll answer your uh, question. Please don't interrupt me. <laughs> <clears throat> but you said my mother was taken away from me, which she was. She was kidnapped. You didn't know about that part. Or because when you first hear it, it's like, it makes me sound bad. And Miss Grace, you said that um, you should put your business in other people. You know, if they're sick, your neighbor, you should just mind your own business. Well, I thought that was very, very inconsiderate of you. I mean, the Bible says to love your neighbor. I mean, 
not <coughs> just keep away from them. But Mr. Polk, you mentioned a lot of negativity about me, as usual. You have not said one kind of word about me. You said you were going to kick it to heaven. What kind of a person would kick your thoughts to heaven? That is very disrespectful to God. To my serve, who I was called by him in front of my house many years ago to serve him. Come and follow me, he said, after I got out of the church on the corner with those senior citizens, lovely senior citizens, who loved me and I loved them back. So I followed him and he showed me what I didn't know and a lot of what you don't know in this room either. So I would, I've asked you to hear my side of the story for 13 years and you did not. I don't know why, but you made up your mind that I was wrong, not even talking to me, never heard my side of the story. And it's caused me grief, much grief, caused the death of my mother. Because you heard her voice when I sent it to you, saying, please don't kill me, I don't want to die. You let her die. God was healing her. He did not take her life. The devil did. I know. Okay. To be I, continued. I thank you for your comments. Are there any other public comments? Yes, I'm John Hayduk. Um, John Cap. Two meetings ago, you said that uh, you guys don't get paid for the June third and fourth appropriations meetings. Yes, and you sir. said you said people, meaning me, were accusing you guys of stealing. Well, you also said that the second meeting of the two lasted four hours, not two, not three, but four hours. Uh, you know, Cap, the agendas for that meeting said that they were special meetings, and according to ordinance, not arguing with me, you're arguing with ordinance, Burnham requires you guys to get paid for $100 for each uh, special meeting, so you did get paid for it. The village attorney backed me up on that, so I'll ask him next time I see him. You went out of your way to tell us this, and you knew you were lying about it, uh, perhaps that's why Polk had you say it, so we couldn't accuse him of lying. Um, you know, Polk, Chavez, Greer, and Richardson, all four of you sat there, you had the $200, $100 from each meeting, deposited in your account when he said that to you. Not one of you said anything about it. So again, law required you guys to get paid for it. Um, also, at last meeting, it lasted four hours. It's one of the few meetings that Isabel here didn't attend, and so, what do you do, Cap? You pick that meeting that's not being recorded. You pick that meeting to say it lasted four hours. Polk would never allow a meeting to be over two hours. Um, more about our money here. Polk, you had, uh, you, you've told us in the past, if you had any questions, call you, clerk's office, or any trustee. Burnham residents, you're listening on YouTube out there, don't even bother. Polk tells us that the audit is being held up by the accountant. Residents, don't believe Polk the clerk or any trustee that you talk to. Don't even believe me. Call the auditor yourself. I had to. Lauterbach and Amon, 630-393-1483. I hope you all make the phone blow up over there. They'll tell you they're waiting on Burns Police Pension Fund info. That's what's holding up the 22 audit. Uh, so we have our tax bills to pay now, but we can't see our audit because you're holding it up. Um, I feel for the residents, especially the seniors. Uh, I especially feel sorry for the cops because their retirement money, you're holding it up. You have no idea what they have no idea whether uh, whether it's how underfunded it is. Uh, my last point I want to say concerning public works and garbage pickup, Mr. Claybrooks, back for the last 10 years, uh, we haven't had to do the garbage pickup. I understand it took two days to do garbage pickup when Burnham did it. That cut off 40 percent of the work for public works for, for every week. I'm just wondering, I see, everybody sees it. You guys are hiring landscapers to cut few hours house over my Cundiffs. You're putting little flowers that are dying on the corners of our intersections. I'm wondering why isn't public works doing that now that 40%, I'm just curious. How, what are they doing to 40% less work? You have the same amount of employees you did back then. Okay, Maybe you can explain it. Yeah, now I'm done. Thank you for your comment. Does anybody else have any comments? I got a comment. Yes, I'll just continue. I didn't have no intention of making a comment. Oh, you need my name? Yeah. Mr. Hunter. Um, 
just to elaborate what John was saying, I had no idea of saying this, but John was right on the public works. Um, you know, since, since your administration has started, the public works are no longer responsible for tree trimming, for tree cutting, for the garbage, for the yard waste pickup. Um, help me, help me out, John. I can't think of the other ones. There's uh, the list shouldn't even be that long. The sewer cleaning, the grate cleaning. Um, there's there's many many things that are no longer being done by the public works department. And not only that, when the union contract was signed, that said, and some of you may not know this, but Dwayne is not allowed to pick up a tool. He's not allowed to do any work for the public works. He's not allowed to use the blower. He's not allowed to drive trucks. He's not allowed to plow. That's all against contract. He's not allowed to do that. The fact that he does that is kind of a kick in the ass to the union because you're violating our contract all the time. And the mayor and I discussed this before. I said, well, if that's going to happen at the lane, shouldn't Dwayne's job be cut down to part-time? It never was. You know, so basically, you've got a man with the village's issues with uh, raising the taxes, but you've got a public works guy who is making a salary of a full-time. That's supposed to be a working job. The salary was based on that job working, but he does no longer work, and he can't. If the, pub if the public works guys made a grievance against it, he would have to stop. And that used to happen all the time when some of us were not under the mayor's thumb and we would actually complain about those things. And Dwayne was not able to do that work. Um, that's all I really had. And I was hoping the mayor had a special announcement. I was watching the last meeting. He has some kind of special announcement. I'm just hoping we get to hear that at this meeting because I'm really, really excited. And that's all I have. Okay, well, thank you for your comment. Are there any other public comments? <laughs> I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. That's a motion to close by Trustee Claybrook. Can we have a second, please? Second. A second by Trustee Richardson with a point call Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Smart. Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Make a motion to pass. Thank you. Um, <coughs> Well, in the mayor's report, uh, there's been a lot of cleanup this week after the storm and whatnot, and uh, you know, trying to stay abreast of things. We have to call to the office, trying to address it. Excuse me, but I can't hear you. <clears throat> I said we've been very busy. Um, uh, this is this week in public works and uh, and have some many calls uh, from the storm and whatnot and trying to clean up I mean throughout the village and uh, so we are continue to uh, to work and do a, a productive thing we also going to have a couple of tax <clears throat> couple of tax meetings you know concerning the property taxes you know which went up uh, this time more than any time in the last 20 years for sure for some people and other people maybe not for some people yes and i was one of the people that they did go up about a couple thousand dollars every year. so um and as far as the announcement for those um i will make that next week so um if there are any um so i don't have anything else uh calm down so that's it for the mayor's report. We just time to get on the work. Good evening, everyone. Good, Good evening. evening. Um, just a reminder still that many residents have not purchased their vehicle stickers for their window. Um, if you are a resident of Burnham, you are required to purchase a vehicle sticker. Um, you can purchase that at the village hall between the hours of 9 and 5, Monday through Friday, with the current vehicle registration. And that's also important. <clears throat> Public education, health, safety, and welfare, I'm trusting Greg. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Wayne Creek Career Fest. That's the new casino that will be opening up in Homewood. <laughs> so they will have a career fest Wednesday, August the 7th, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. for anyone that's interested in employment. It's going to be at Prairie State College, Hoffman <coughs> Street, in Chicago Heights. Again, that's on August 7th. Can you the time? Uh, yes, it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. 
<coughs> the village of Burn has installed five AED defibrillators. They are located in the, in the lobby in the village hall. There is a senior center, the community center, water department, and the public works department. And the, uh, the village hall uh, will be purchasing body cabinets for the police department very soon. Seasonal community services will be taking application for your gas, lighting, and water on July the 20th. It's at the garage sale, July the 27th at the Gospel Fest, and also August the 3rd at the um, community day. We thank everyone that has attended our law clinic on um, last Tuesday. It was wonderful. Uh, it was very successful. Uh, people came out, asked questions, talked with the lawyers, and asked questions and talked with the lawyers. So hopefully that we can have another one in the future. And again, the garage, garage sale is this Saturday from 11 to 4. Hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Griff, for that report and your information. Public <coughs> Works and Building, Trustee Claybrooks. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve on purchasing a 2021 Elgin Room Bar Suite Street Sweeper for $170,173, including a $10,000 trade in of our 2000 Elgin Pelican Suite. <coughs> I make a motion to approve or purchase in a 2021 Elgin Broom Bar Street Sweeper for $170,173, including a $10,000 trade in of our 2000 Elgin Pelican Sweeper. So there's a motion on the floor by the trustee of to approve the finance for the sweeper. So could we have a second, please? I'll second it. Being second by trustee Capital Project. Trustee Cash? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Playbook? Yes. Motion passed. Proceed, Trustee. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve the purchase and installation of Weathermaker 13.4 Sear Condenser and Coil for the amount of $5,700 for the office area at Village Hall. The, cons the condenser was unable to be repaired in any way. I have a little information about why that had to be repaired. It's because too many dogs are peeing on it and all the bottom part all rusted away. The dog came on That's what happened to that one. Wow. He showed it to me last year when they did the inspection. I've never seen a dog over here. I know there must be somebody's dog that comes over here. I don't think it's a policeman's dog because he asked me about that. We don't have a police dog. Maybe I mean, it's, it's the policeman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had it all rusted out. So it's one of the neighbor dogs or something. <laughs> Got cameras back there? <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. I make a motion to approve the purchase and installation of the Mega 13.4 Sear condenser and coil for the amount of $5,700 for the office area at the child. A second. And a motion made by Trustee Playbrook, a second by Trustee Richardson. Trustee Cass? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Playbrook? Yes. Most times you have anything on Trustee? Yes. Uh, Monday, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Monday, as everyone knows, uh, we have tornadoes and strong winds in the area. And uh, the public works for our Tuesday, Wednesday, and today are uh, removing fallen branches and trees from the uh, streets and the parkways. And uh, for the record, uh, public works, the guys, they uh, work street and park. That's all I have. Okay, thank you, sir. In the ordinance resolution and planning, Trustee Garcia. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to. And before you get that, Trustee Garcia, uh, the items one and two, uh, there's a duplicate piece of gold will not be voted on tonight under an ordinance resolution one and two. And also, this property was property on uh, Torrance Avenue. 
that we had acquired through the Richmond Tax Bid at the end of this property there. It was a number of <coughs> 11 pins, and that property uh, didn't enlarge themselves, um, you know, generated uh, almost $100,000 between that and the seven. I mean, of those lots and, and bringing a business to put them. And that's a new Mexican store up and some of the other developments they have. Proceed, <laughs> <laughs> Discussion on consideration of the taking action to approve or not approve resolution number R 024 R 005, the resolution for the general maintenance of streets and highways under the Illinois Highways under the Illinois Code within the village of Burnham. Um, make a motion to approve resolution number R024 R 005, a resolution for the general maintenance of streets and highways under the Illinois Highways, under the Illinois Code within the Village of Burma. Discussion on consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve the ordinance number twenty twenty four dash O dash zero zero three. An ordinance making appropriations for all corporate purposes for the fiscal year beginning May first, twenty twenty four and ending April third, twenty twenty five for the village of Burnham. Okay, so uh, you can't hear them because we'll back to the auction, then we'll see if other any questions, and then you'll be able to come back. So I'll make a motion to approve ordinance number 2024-0-003, an ordinance making appropriations for all corporate purposes for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2024, and ending April 30, 2025 for the Village of Burnham. Are there any questions, though? Okay, let's see. So there's a motion of four by Trustee Garcia, so now we need a second, please. Second. A second by Trustee Clark. <coughs> Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clark. Yes. Proceed, Trustee Garcia. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2024 0 006. An ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials. Appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham. Okay. Make a motion to approve ordinance number 124-0-006. In order in ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham and Cook County, Illinois. There are remarks known as by Trustee Garcia to approve ordinance number 124 Second. Second by Trustee Richard Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Yes. 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 And next month's bills, I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the payment of the bills for the next two months. And there's a motion to approve our trustee cap to approve the deal for the next two months. So, mm -hmm. do we have a second? Thank you. Second. The second by Trustee Richardson will clarify. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Yes. So those two uh, appropriation hearing meetings we have, we the committee did not get paid, and that second meeting did last four hours because I noted it. So we were here four hours, so it was kind of lengthy. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but it's a possibility maybe um, maybe instead of the same special meeting, maybe the wording need to be changed to maybe appropriation meeting or whatever. 
Yeah, but maybe we didn't take the word special out of it. Yeah, but he did not get paid. If you guys got paid, I didn't. I checked my check stub, I didn't get paid. If you, did if you guys were me, you wouldn't believe you either. I'll show you my check stub. So, are you guys on vacation in August again? Um, Why don't you guys approve the month's meetings for the rest of the year if you're going to do this? All right. Um, um, Mr. Have one more I have one more. Mr. Pope, talk to me, buddy. I'm sorry. Here, it's uh, closed. So Yeah, I don't care. You don't talk, talk to me when it's open. We were talking about uh, funding the pensions. I don't care and I now. noticed last week or the week before, and I just verified it, the city of Chicago <clears throat> is $37.2 million behind funding their pensions for their four unions, which is the police, the fire, public mm -hmm. works, and the city. So like everybody's always complaining. That has nothing to do with the burn behind. police. But the city of Chicago. You guys don't 30, control Chicago. We're, there's 37.2 million behind funding their pension. We just got our tax bill. That's why I'm bringing this shit up too. Excuse you? Yeah, really? language. You're gonna call, you're gonna focus. You take it out, please. He's gonna focus on that. You were waiting for the. You were waiting for one word from me, Polk. You're such a joke. Little little man, I feel sorry for you. God bless you. I don't need your pity. It's not my opinion, it's all fact. I look at fact, it's a fact that they're behind in their yeah. pensions. Yeah, a lot of That's got nothing to do with Burnham. I mean, you tell you, trust me. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Summertime is here here and the heat is on. Here are some tips to stay cool. Clear the area around cooling vents, move furniture, carpets, and other objects that may be blocking air. Use window coverings to stop heat from getting in during the day. If you're not home for more than eight hours, consider turning your thermostat up seven degrees to ten degrees. If you use air conditioning, a ceiling fan allows you to raise the thermostat even more by setting it about four degrees Fahrenheit. With no reduction in comfort by creating a wind chill effect. So those are some things you can do to stay cool during the hot summer. Okay, thank you, Trustee. I'm going to have a lot of hearing. Talking about the Trustee. Yeah, so the swing set for the park out here is on the order. You know, hopefully it'll be in next week, but it may not. He's tight. But we definitely should get it in the main club. Are there any presentation or petitions? Any communication memorial? Are there any monsters there? She's big and tall. Is there any unfinished business? And is there any new business? Are you in trouble talking about it? I would like to say, you know, that's for the spot and for a couple of things. So. The real you had asked if we had any COVID money, yes. I mean, left out yes. I don't know how much you get. I can't even hear you. Oh, you're talking. And the other thing no. is that. I was asking. Is, uh, I was told uh, you out as far as Burnham uh, killing somebody, I had something to do with that, of course. I mean, that's already in God's hand. And, and, and no one was a uh, 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 And, uh, <coughs> Thank you, honey. And public works is uh, uh, work and build up the as well as the other departments. It's really the problem is it's progressively and moving ahead and we'll continue to do so. If I tell you that, you got another word. Thank you. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Can we just address the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I was just going to say, and I, I think because there's like a misconception with the tax bill that we just received is that that is set by the county, right? The county assessor that Burnham has nothing to do with, with taxes, you know, going up. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a problem. People think that you're the one that's setting, when they, we're the ones that are setting the tax rate. Well, well, I think we all could agree here. I mean, I say it would not approve anything. I pay my tax is about $2,200 in one quarter. I can tell you that. I mean, I'm $2,200 poor than I was. That would make sense. Um, we probably will have um, the budget meeting next week. We probably will have one special meeting probably in August. I think there's a good chance of that, but we will. I just want to say that for the record. So we will, I'm 99% sure that we'll have a special meeting in August. 
Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Greer. Yes. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Piper. Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Thank you.